April is National Financial Literacy Awareness Month, but it is by no means the only time of year you should be learning about money. Every day, you should prioritize at least 10 minutes a day learning what you don't know about money so that you will reach your financial goals in a reasonable amount of time. If you remain disciplined in one year, you will have devoted 3,650 minutes, which is about 60 hours, learning ways to boost your financial literacy. That's about the average work week of most Americans, except this knowledge can more than triple the amount you earn for the rest of your life. Hey everybody, welcome to the Build Young, Grow Wealthy podcast. My name is Walida Cherie. I help busy professionals and entrepreneurs manage, protect, and grow their income to obtain financial freedom. In today's podcast episode, we will discuss 10 must-read books for boosting your financial literacy. Without further ado, let's get into this. Number one, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a personal finance book that compares the money-making philosophies of the author's biological father, who was his poor dad, and his best friend's father, who was his rich dad. This book emphasizes the importance of financial education and building wealth through investments, entrepreneurship, and passive income streams. Kiyosaki provides practical advice on managing money, reducing expenses, and increasing income. Overall, this book encourages readers to adopt a mindset shift toward financial freedom and independence. If you don't know where to start your journey, I highly recommend starting with this book. Number two, Cash Flow Quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki. This book explains the four different ways people earn money. The E's, which are the employees. The S's, who are the self-employed individuals. The B's, who are the business owners. And the I's, who are the investors. This book advocates for people to move from the left side of the quadrant employee and self-employed to the right side of the quadrant who are the business owners and investors to achieve financial freedom and independence. It also discusses the importance of financial education and how it can help individuals make better financial decisions. If you would like to hear my summary of this book in less than 10 minutes, be sure to check out the link in the description box. Number three, The Richest Man in Babylon by George Clayson. The Richest Man in Babylon by George Clayson is a classic book on personal finance and wealth building. It consists of parables set in ancient Babylon where characters learn lessons about money management and financial independence. This book emphasizes principles such as saving at least 10% of your income, investing wisely, and avoiding debt. It also stresses the importance of seeking expert advice and being disciplined in one's financial habits. Overall, this book provides practical and timeless advice for anyone seeking to build wealth and achieve financial freedom. If you would like to hear my summary of this book in less than five minutes, be sure to check out the link in the description box. Number four, The Millionaire Map by Jim Stovall. The Millionaire Map is a book by Jim Stovall that provides a roadmap for readers to achieve financial success and become millionaires. It emphasizes the importance of having a clear vision, setting specific goals, taking action, and developing a positive mindset. This book also includes practical tips and strategies for managing money, investing, and building wealth over time. Number five, The Ultimate Gift by Jim Stovall. The Ultimate Gift is a novel about a young man named Jason Stevens who inherits a billion dollar fortune from his grandfather, but only if he completes a series of tasks that teach him the true meaning of wealth and happiness. Jason learns important life lessons through these tasks about family, love, and giving back to others. If you would like to hear the interview I did with Jim Stovall, the link will be in the description box. Number six, The Psychology of Money by Morgan Hossel. The Psychology of Money is a book that explores the relationship between money and behavior, including common mistakes people make with their finances. Housel emphasizes that money is not just about numbers, 
but also about the stories and emotions we attach to it. He provides insights and practical advice on understanding and improving our financial decisions and using money to live a fulfilling life. If you would like to look at some case studies that I did on the psychology of money, I will leave the link in the description box. Number seven, The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Waddles. The Science of Getting Rich is a book by Wallace D. Waddles that focuses on creating wealth through positive thinking and action. The world is abundant and we can achieve financial success by embracing the power of the mind and taking action. It stresses gratitude and faith and encourages readers to focus on their goals. Overall, the book is a practical guide to creating wealth and abundance in all areas of life. Number eight, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by Robin S. Sharma. The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari is a self-help book by Robin S. Sharma published in 1997. It is a fictional story about a successful lawyer who has a heart attack and travels to India to discover the true meaning of life. He meets a wise sage who teaches him about mindfulness, self-discipline, and the importance of living in the present moment. This book provides practical tips and exercises for readers to improve their physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. It aims to inspire readers to live a more fulfilling and purposeful life. Number nine, The Wealth Choice by Dennis Kimbrough. The Wealth Choice is a book that examines the habits and mindsets of successful African-American individuals and how they have achieved financial success. This book provides practical advice on developing a wealth building mindset, building strong networks, and overcoming obstacles to success. It also features inspiring stories of successful African Americans who have achieved financial prosperity despite facing significant challenges. Overall, this book is a valuable resource for anyone looking to improve their financial situation and mindset. And number 10, The Millionaire Next Door by Tom Stanley. The Millionaire Next Door is a book that explores the habits and characteristics of millionaires in the United States. This book reveals that the majority of millionaires in America are not flashy spenders, but instead are frugal and live modest lifestyles. This book also provides insights into how anyone can achieve financial independence by living below their means, investing wisely, and avoiding debt. Overall, The Millionaire Next Door is a guide to achieving financial success through hard work, discipline, and smart financial planning. So, which one of these books have you read and what were some of your aha moments? Be sure to leave me a comment. That's all I have for now. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe, leave a review, and share with a friend. Until next time, I will talk to you later.